Hello, hello everybody. Now, first of all, I wanna start off by saying for anybody who's watching this in February of 2022, right when I put this out, January, it was hard for everybody. Even the most resilient of us, even the most spiritually centered of us, January sucked. <laughs> January of 2022 sucked balls. <laughs> so you're not alone. You're not alone. It was miserable for all of us and it's gonna get better. It's about to get better. So just hold on, take a deep breath, take this wild ride with the rest of us, put on a smile, it's for you, nobody else, and it will actually make you feel better. Thank you guys for joining me for another video. Today I wanna talk about snake oil as opposed to real spirituality because it seems like the things that are the most interesting and intriguing and attractive to us are the most snake oilsy, And the things that are the most like real, true, deep spirituality, like digging for the truth sort of stuff, like that, that's actually less attractive to us. It seems less magical than the lie, than the illusion. And so I want to talk about that because there are so many things like, first of all, the whole reason why this came up at all was because I saw somebody repost something about hematite rings. And if you don't know what a hematite ring is, it's these shiny little gunmetal gray rings that get sold at bookstores, especially spiritual and occult bookstores at the front register for like a couple of bucks and they're gonna tell you one of two things about these rings if they tell you anything at all one is that they will soak up negativity for you so that you don't receive the negativity and then when it breaks off it's because it took in too much negative energy or they're going to tell you that you make a wish on it and then when it breaks your wishes come true neither of these are true what is true is that hematite is a really cheap rock that breaks really easily that's not to say that hematite isn't a stone with spiritual properties that can't be used as a spiritual tool. Absolutely. But it doesn't break because anything happened. It broke because it's a cheap stone that breaks easily. Another example of this is stones that get sold as other stones like amethyst or howlite are two great examples of stones that get dyed or changed and then get sold as other stones. Citrine is a really nice orange, but light orange, like even kind of a light yellow stone. And yet they will take amethyst and they will heat it until it turns this bright orange that looks nothing like real citrine and they will sell it to people who don't know any better and tell them that it's citrine when it's really amethyst that was just heated up really hot until it turned from purple to orange. Spiritual snake oil. They do this with things like flower essences, you know, um, essential oils, real good, pure essential oils can be amazing plant medicine. Flower essences on the other hand, or just essential oils that were collected poorly don't have the plant medicine and can possibly either be diluted or filled with chemical crap. Like the idea of a flower essence, like um, uh, dollar sections of places, even some of my favorite places <laughs> will sell you the essence of flowers or the essence of oils or plants or fruits or oh. And they're really a bunch of chemical crap and that completely defeats the purpose. And the sad thing is the organic industry has really become this as well. Like apparently, as long as a product has, I think in America, 5% organic uh, something in it, then it can be called organic, it can be labeled organic, but that's 95% unorganic. Like, and they do this all the time. You're getting sold spiritual snake oil, basically healthy, health, health industry, snake oil. And it's sad, but it's true. And so it just, 
you really want to make sure that when it comes to making sure that you're actually filling your life with things that are going to make you healthier and happier, that you're doing your research. That's why I love being a part of the doTERRA witches and being a part of doTERRA using the doTERRA products all the time because you know that doTERRA as a company has gone out of its way to find the best, most pure ways to get the essential oils from the plants so that they have the most potent plant medicine as opposed to these flower essences that they'll sell you with a jar and some sticks and diffuse it into your room. Uh -uh. No. <laughs> that is just putting more chemical crap out into the air and completely defeats the purpose of what it's supposed to be doing. You know, I, uh, and mood rings, mood rings are probably the number one original hippie snake oil. It's not telling you what your mood is. It's telling you what the temperature of your body is. They sell things like worry stones where it's this, small piece of rock that's flat on one side and then has a spot shaped like your thumb on the other side and you're supposed to rub it and it's supposed to help you when you're worried. All that does is while you're worried, you're also developing a tactile fixation. <laughs> it's not actually helping you be any less worried. More examples of spiritual snake oil. And my favorite that's being talked about more and more recently, which I'm so grateful it is, is all of these scammers online. There are so, you have no idea, oh my goodness. I am probably contacted by a scammer once a day at a minimum online. All of these people telling me, the Orishas have sensed my bad juju and I'm supposed to buy something from them to make it go away. Like it's the new Nigerian prince is the spiritual, card reader or energy reader or mystic who's going to sell you a spell that they do that you don't even get to see and you're just going to give them money and it's like no no <laughs> the only person I have ever even considered giving money to do a ritual for me that I wasn't going to get to see was my Caro Paco mentor and I ended up not even doing that. <laughs> but that's because I knew that if I wanted to, he would actually do it. These people, not so much. They're going to take your money. They're going to tell you a bunch of potentially motivational stuff, which, you know, if that's all you really need, more power to you. But you're being sold a bunch of lies and then just going and doing it yourself. And is that really what you want? is having someone just sell you a bunch of sell you on a bunch of motivational quotes that they probably got from a book you could have read yourself um and actually gotten more of because you read the book yourself rather than like handed one tiny quote out of it by someone who gave you a fake tarot card reading and part of the reason why we talk about this so much in the spiritual circles online recently is because these people are approaching people in their message boxes on Instagram, on Facebook, on things like that. And your average real spiritually centered person who is a practitioner in some way offering their services to others aren't showing up in your message box approaching you. They're waiting for you to approach them or they have some sort of link that you can click, like I do at the end of my videos. I say, hey, and by the way, don't forget to check out the links in the description. And that's it, you know? And that's the same goes for the way I function on Instagram. You know, if you want a counseling session, if you want a coaching session, if you want a reading, an energy reading or a card reading from me, you're not gonna be approached by me. I'm gonna be waiting for you to approach me did that, did I say that right? Yeah, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be approaching you ever. That's what I meant to say. You will, ne yeah, you will never get approached by me at all. Like I'm never gonna show up in your message box and be like, hey, you want my stuff? It's not gonna happen because 
Well, because I'm not a scammer. Because that's something that that scammers do. And the only other people who aren't scammers who do that are people who are super desperate, who were told by some fake life coach that that was the best way to get clients. It's not a wrong way necessarily to get clients if you're willing to have just turn and burn clients, I guess, but it's not a way to build a lasting relationship, I'll tell you that. <laughs> so, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Spiritual snake oil. If it seems too good to be true, it probably is. Like, real spirituality, real mysticism, real magic is work. It's effort on your part. It's a book that needs to be studied. It's a meditation that needs to be done. It's a journal that needs to be written. It's, it's energy that needs to be transmuted. It's never going to come to you in a quick fix band-aid solution. And so if you're being presented a quick fix band-aid solution, it's not real, genuine spirituality. It's not even real magic. It's a lie wrapped in a wish that is effort on your part that would be better spent elsewhere doing doing the real thing. Thank you guys so much for joining me for another video. As always, I'm Ann Black, which your Silicon Valley Sage Sister here to bring consciousness to the forefront of your daily life to make life a little kinder and simpler. Don't forget to check out the links in the description. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. May the energies you serve serve you well. Not only in the description do I have my link for doTERRA, I have my link for my Patreon where I have even more videos like I do here, but where I get even deeper into spirituality and the practical when it comes to making your life, as I say, kinder and simpler, happier and healthier. I have my link to do a free clarity call if you'd like to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. I have some spaces still open and available for that. After I fill these spaces, I will be retiring my free clarity call. But if you're really, 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 really ready and you just want to sign up right, right now, I actually have a link for that as well in there. And I have my email. You can always email me if you have any questions. Let's keep making our way through, guys. I am. I can do it. So I know you can too.